previously on GT Journeys. Kartike and I landed in Dubai thanks to our mysterious benefactor who also hooked us up with a rare Porsche GT3. This landed us in the company of the world's most prestigious automobiles. For the next day, it was time to head out of the city of gold with a shiny blue GT Neo 3. Thus, we found ourselves in the mountains with another supercar, courtesy of the same benefactor who we still knew nothing about. I had a feeling, I, I knew it. Last night I couldn't sleep because of it. I knew that this morning would be something like this. The McLaren 720S Spider exists because it solves a real world problem that has plagued convertibles since the beginning of time. It maintains the same rigidity, speed and ferocity of a coupe and does it all with a full carbon tub. There is absolutely no metal or metal rods going through, no roll cage, no roof. And this is the Jebel Jazz Road. This luscious ribbon of pristine blacktop snakes its way through the austere mountains of the Arabian Gulf. Onwards and upwards for 20 kilometers, it has countless hairpins and 22 goals. By the way, we are going to be flying through the air and watch how. We are flying through the air right now, man. I mean, can you imagine it? <laughs> it was the Porsche 911 yesterday. And, and now? People say that there are no mountains around Dubai. The highest peak of UAE is Ras Al Khaima. And from there, there's the world's longest zip line. And you're gonna be zipping on the zip line. Do we need to prepare? Do you need to sit now? Oh! <laughs> A mix of this unrivaled chassis tuning and a racy 4.0-litre twin-turbo V8 that revs quicker than some naturally aspirated engines make the 720S a supercar that defies physics and boggles your mind like a double-degree doctorate mathematician would. This is a V8 twin-turbo and yet... Can you get the windows down? Yeah. Go for it, Kartik! After an exciting ballet of brutal power, we pulled over to realize that the man in the Corvette was none other than the real me vice president, Madhav Seth. You are actually the reason why we are here in Dubai. Welcome to GD Journeys. Welcome to Dubai. Turns out Madhav was the very one who had been sending us mysterious messages and the cars from the get-go. I've always wanted to ask Madhav on the show, what makes the phone so special for you? It's multiple things. First is design and performance. So design you can see is a racing stripe design, which is similar to yes. your GT car. One of the best selling points of this particular phone is the world's first 150 watt charging solution which charges your phone in less than 5 minutes, more than 50%. Less than 5 minutes? Yes, sounds fast. Yes. Yeah. That's a great download but I've got to get to my question. Oh yeah, uh, I know what you're going to ask. <laughs> what's next? He's been asking that for the last two days, aren't you having fun? But yeah. what's next? Yes. Yeah. Next for your car ticket is to test the car. Whoa! Hey. Hey. Where did he go? Car's still here. The man really loves speed, doesn't he? Fast disappearing act. I get the McLaren all for myself then. <laughs> and it's phone that I would never get to drive it. <laughs> I think the story just begins. This 
is why we all signed up for GT Journeys, to be driving at some of the world's best locations in some of the coolest sports cars. Now the Corvette formula has been pretty special, whereas the Mustang is that quintessential muscle car, the Corvette has been America's sports car. <laughs> going up and down the Jebel Jays Road here at Ras Al Khaima is going to be insane fun, especially now with Kartike in that car. Sure, there are plenty of mid-engine speed machines out there in the world today, but the Corvette is special because it has always promised to be what could be for many people there first sports car, a proper sports car and with this transition that promise has only gotten stronger and along with that there's also the hope that this might be a proper European supercar beta. Oh yeah! What's well, sitting midships is still a 6.2 litre naturally aspirated V8 so the Americanness is still very much intact it's just moved a little bit and that engine is still beautiful in my books because of its easygoing nature this is an engine you can chill with and that's been the beauty of these V8s they are just so plural right you could cruise in them you could commute in them and when you wanted you could destroy some speed limits different flavors in the world of supercars and from the top of your head there comes a flavor which is like vanilla that is Ferrari and then like mango maybe Lamborghini and then there's Porsche like butterscotch half the world hates it the other half loves it but then there are more flavors and you got to taste all the flavors to get to know more about the world and one of the flavors is this from Great Britain Now, if you think of supercars as ice cream, then uh, if you've been having sorbets and gelatos, this is kind of like that chuski or that Pepsi Cola you had as a kid, which came in that little plastic packet. It is so fast. It is so fun. It is so funny that it's not even funny. It's just endearing in its simplicity in that sense. It's still satisfying. Oh my god, what a turn in! How fast can the McLaren really go? This is insane! It slides, it has the control, but I don't. Man. Uh... <laughs> As the road to Ras Al Khaimah grew to staggering heights, its corners wound tighter and tighter like a python gripping its prey. But the McLaren fought harder. That's because its bones are made of carbon fiber. Unlike most supercars which use a blend of aluminium and carbon fiber in their construction, the 720S is built around a pure carbon tub, making it lighter and more rigid, which means that even the drop-top spider version handles exactly the same as the coupe. There are many ways to go fast. The McLaren 720S does it in a way the F1 cars do. Simply put, despite the combustion engine, it is a supercar from the future. As for the Corvette, it goes about attacking speed by combining the old and the new. The power and glory of its legacy with its new hardware that's inspired for and from speed. The dream of driving exotics at bucket list locations had come true. Kartike and I were enjoying the drive so much that we nearly forgot what lay at the end of this magnificent road.
Nestled at the top of this cloud-piercing mountain is the beginning of the jump. It all starts at a staggering 1700 feet from sea level. And the entire flight is finished in a mere lifetime. Just as we were wearing our superhero suits to survive the jump, it began with bumping into Madhav Seth again and showing us how a dare to leap is properly done. He jumped off in a blink, speeding away in his smart tuxedo. The only thing remaining was for us to make the jump. Reaching top speeds of over 150 km an hour, one jumps off the zipline at Ras Al Khema, hoping for no gust of wind. Our destiny to fly through the air was now behind us and what lay ahead was a heart-to-heart tete-a-tete on a tabletop at the top of Jebel Jazz. Another technical car. Festival of supercars on an everyday basis. Technical guru ji. So चलिए शुरू करते हैं. You guys met Madhav in the morning. Madhav, yes. Now that he's here, what's next? My routine is always on the edge. So चलिए शुरू करते हैं. Rock tour. Best tour होगा ये भी anchoring. World's best. Best no. Best till date.